The next exercise you're going to do is to try drawing curved lines instead of straight lines. Now once again you're going to be using your blue pencil to do this, but I'm going to be using my normal drawing pencil so that you can see what I'm doing. Now, the difficulty with drawing curved lines or drawing lines with more precision is that lots of people tend to really focus too closely on the line they're drawing and they kind of try and rough it out by kind of coming around like this and you end up with a very feathery rough looking line. We want to have nice smooth lines in our sketching and so we're going to try and try a technique whereby we connect dots together to try and guide where our curve is going to go. So the first thing you need to do is draw a series of dots. I would recommend about four on your page. So one, two, three, four dots like that. And then just like before, we're going to be ghosting the line. So you're going to move your pencil. And again, I'm moving using more my shoulder and my elbow to do this. I'm going to kind of move around and see if I can envisage where my line is going to go. If you don't think that you can go through all four points in one go, it's completely fine to do it in separate stages. The trick is to imagine the line going through the dot, not ending as the dot. That's what this diagram here is. Don't use dots as endpoints because then you get points. So you can start the line and kind of just go through it and then continue the line on in stages if you find that's easier. So what I'm going to do, again, I go to my line. I've had a thought about where it's going to go. And I'm now going to try drawing my line through the different dots, using them as guide points not as endpoints. And you can see here it starts before, it ends after, and none of these dots have been used as points to be the end of a line. It's just a straightforward curve. Now you want to do at least two of these, but obviously you can do more on the page if you need more practice.